there. How's it going? You want to talk about science? Well, okay. But, uh, give me a minute. That's much better. And welcome to Science Time with Molly. Let's see what today's topic is. Asthma. But what exactly is asthma? Have you heard of it before? Maybe you know somebody who has it? Stop for a second and think about it. Asthma is a chronic condition that makes it harder to breathe. The airways in the lungs are restricted. They get filled with mucus and then they get smaller. Breathing for a person with asthma can sometimes be like breathing through a straw. It's really hard. Did you know 22 million people in America have asthma? That's about one in 12. Asthma accounts for 10.5 million school days missed every year for kids. And it costs the healthcare system about $60 billion. Whoa. Maybe you're familiar with the phrase asthma attack. But what exactly does an asthma attack look like? In an asthma attack, the airways that carry oxygen to your lungs get smaller, tissue gets inflamed, and the muscles surrounding it contract, which makes it harder to breathe. People might cough or wheeze or gasp for air. That's where inhalers come in. Some inhalers, like mine, are preventative. You take them before you exercise and they help relax your airways to prevent inflammation and swelling during the exercise. It can make your lungs less sensitive to asthma triggers. But during an asthma attack, there's a different kind of inhaler. This type of inhaler acts to relax the muscles that are making it difficult for you to breathe. To learn more about asthma triggers, airway inflammation, and how an inhaler might help, there's a great game you can play on the computer. The game's called Buster Baxter Lung Defender. The link's in the description box. You're shrunken down small enough to go inside of Buster's airways, and Buster has asthma, so we have to remove the asthma triggers. But what happens when you miss one of the asthma triggers, or two, or three, the airway constricts, and an inhaler appears. Grab the inhaler, and his airways relax. When I was done playing all the levels, my score was above 2,000. Do you think you can beat me? Now let's get back to the science. If asthma is chronic, that means there's no cure. There are treatment methods that exist, sure, but they only control and manage asthma. They don't make it go away. Can we find a cure for asthma? That's where I come in. The research lab I used to work in studied asthma in the immune system. What's the immune system? Easy. It's our body's line of defense against germs. It's like when you wear a helmet to protect yourself when you ride a bike. The helmet protects your head, just like our immune system protects us. How did we study asthma? Let's take a look. Using mice, we induced asthma. And then we tried to find a solution. Now back to the immune system. There's a special kind of cell in our immune system called a B cell. These are super important. B cells are the only kind of cell in our body that can produce antibodies. What's an antibody? Great question. Let's learn a little about the immune system. Within the immune system, there's a special kind of cell called a B cell. These are super important. B cells are the only kind of cells in our body that can produce antibodies. Wait, what's an antibody? Great question. An antibody is something that your body produces in response to an antigen. And an antigen is a toxin or a foreign substance that your body comes in contact with. So these antibodies protect us from harmful things. And B cells are highly specialized. Each one is unique and can produce a different antibody. What does this mean? Well, basically it means that our bodies are really well equipped to deal with anything that we might come in contact with. There's different kinds of B cells. There's regulatory B cells, and there's killer B cells. Killer B cells do exactly what you imagine they do. They kill things that they come in contact that might be harmful to your body. So in my lab, when we were trying to think of how we might be able to cure asthma, we selected killer B cells as a potential option. So. We gave the B cells to the mice that had asthma, and we saw reduced swelling in their airways. There's actually a really cool activity we can build to model how our airways work. And we can even model what asthma airways look like. I'll show you. The pink part is your diaphragm. 
and the balloons inside are your lungs, and this is your chest, and this is your airway. It fit like right here. It's like your trachea. So when you breathe in and you pull the diaphragm down, you can see that the balloons inflate. And then when you breathe out and the diaphragm contracts, the balloons go flat. And if you listen close, you can hear the air move in and out. Here's what you'll need. A ruler, an exacto knife, a pop bottle with the cap, a drill, a straw, tape or hot glue, pipe cleaners, two small balloons, I use the water balloon size kind, and one bigger balloon. I used a drill to make room in the cap for the straw. Make sure you wash out the bottle and remove the label. So I measured about five and a half inches from the top of the bottle, and then I drew around it in a circle with a Sharpie. Then I was really careful and I took an X-Acto knife and I cut off the bottom portion of the bottle. Then I cleaned up the edges with a pair of scissors. Go ahead and cut off just a small portion of the part where the straw bends. Then trim about three or four inches off the base of the straw. Now you have two pieces. Now put the straw piece into the bend of the other Tape one. Tape the straw pieces together. Those are your two bronchia. That's where the air passes through to get into the lungs, which are going to be the little balloons. And tape those on too. I fed the straw through the hole I made in the cap, and then I used hot glue to secure the straw. Now, take your big balloon. That's the diaphragm in this model. Tie a knot on the one end. Next, on the rounded end, cut a little bit off. Make sure you don't cut off too much, because remember, you can always cut off more if you need. Now, stretch it around to the bottom of the opening in the bottle. You might need help. Maybe have your parent hold the bottle and you can stretch the balloon over. Now, it's all set. How can we mimic asthma in this model? Pipe cleaners. The pipe cleaners can act as the inflammation that's present in a person with asthma's airways. Can you think of anything else that we could place inside the straws that wouldn't completely block the air getting through, but just reduce it or make it harder? Go ahead and try, especially if you don't have pipe cleaners laying around your house. There's other options out there. Get creative. To make the asthma version of this model, just insert pipe cleaners into the straws after you've already cut them. Then proceed as normal. But in this new model with the pipe cleaner inside of the straw, we're faced with the exact same problem that we were faced with in my lab. How do we reduce the inflammation? How do we make it go away? Now remember, in my lab, we used B cells, but we don't have any B cells here. So what else could we try? Comment down below if you came up with any cool ways to reduce the inflammation of the pipe cleaners. One way that I came up with which can't be used while the pipe cleaner is in the system is you can trim down the pipe cleaner and that's like reducing the inflammation but not making it completely go away. I had some old stickers lying around the house, so I cut off the shape of a person with a window in the middle to show the lungs, and this is what I came up with. Let's review what we learned today. First, what is asthma? Number two, what is the immune system? Number three, what's a potential cure for asthma? Number four, how to build this really cool lung model, both an asthma one and a regular healthy lung. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. Hashtag science is cool.